video problem 37, balancing a chemical, chemical equation. Uh, there's all sorts of ways to balance chemical equations where you show your work, where you count the atoms, the atom inventory. I just use the trial and error method where I just bounce back and forth and I find that most students prefer that. The one big thing that you have to keep in mind is you are, you are basically determining how many of these boxes you need. All right, And what's important is that you have the same number and type of atoms on each side. Okay, but again, you can only you can only do this in terms of number of boxes that you need. Remember that the uh, subscript here is dependent upon the charges, so the charges balance. So you can't mess with the subscripts. Okay. So my first tip is anytime you have a polyatomic ion on both sides, treat it like it's one thing. So in this case, I have two nitrates over here, so I need to put a two in front of there. So now I have two nitrates, right? But I changed potassium. So let's take a look at that, two potassiums. Let's put a two in front of there, so there's two potassiums, two potassiums. That also gave me two iodines. Look over here, there's two iodines, okay? You know, one lead, one lead. So it looks like it's good, let's double check it. Two potassiums, two potassiums, two iodines, uh, two iodines, uh, one lead, one lead, two nitrates, two nitrates. So that one's done, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so here's my other, uh, my other little tip for you. Here's a hydroxide. Think of water as hydrogen hydroxide, and a lot of times that'll make it easier if you don't have hydroxides on both sides. So let's balance the hydroxides. So let's put a two in front of that. All right, so that gives me two hydroxides. Now that changed the number of hydrogens, so let's put a two in front of that. And now that changed the number of chlorines, and there's two chlorines over there. So it looks like it's balanced here. Let's see, two hydrogens, uh, two hydrogens, two chlorines, two chlorines, one calcium, one calcium, two hydroxides, two hydroxides. So that one's balanced. All right, so here's this one. Now, my tip on this one is you can always make a single atom or molecule equal anything. Okay, let me show you what I mean. Um, this is a combustion reaction. We don't have uh, any polyatomic ions, so I'm going to start off with carbon. So I got seven carbons, so here's seven carbons. Okay, now this oxygen is all by itself, so I'm going to save that until the very, very end. All right, so here's hydrogen. Uh, I've got 14 of those, so let's put a seven in front of there. Okay, and now everything's balanced except oxygen. Let's see, seven carbons, seven carbons, 14 hydrogens, 14 hydrogens. So now let's see what we've got to do to balance the oxygens. Here I've got seven times two, which is 14 oxygens. Here I've got seven times one, which is seven. So that's 21 oxygens. So I need to make this oxygen equal 21. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply it by 10, or I'm going to put 10.5 in front of it, right? Because 10.5 times two is 21. But you can't have 10.5. You can't do that. So you multiply everything times 2 to get rid of that 0.5. So that means I'm going to have a 2 in front of here, a 21 in front of there, a 14, and a 14. So now if I add it up, I've got 14 carbons, 14 carbons. I've got 28 hydrogens, 28 hydrogens, 42 oxygens. That's 28 plus 14, which is 42 oxygens. Okay. Now here's the very last one that we're going to look at, um, and again, polyatomic ions. Okay, I've got two nitrates. Uh, I've got three nitrates. Hmm. Well, what will two and three both go into? Six. So let's put a three in front of this. Okay, that'll give me six nitrates. Let's put a two in front of there. That'll give me six nitrates. Right. Let's go to the sulfates. I've got three sulfates. So let's put a three in front of there. That's three sulfates. Right. And it looks like it may be balanced. Let's see. Three bariums. Three bariums. Uh, six nitrates, six nitrates, two aluminums, two aluminums, uh, three sulfates, three sulfates. So there you go, balancing. Again, there's a million different ways. Well, maybe not a million. There's a bunch of different ways that you could do it. Uh, I just use this method.